So here's the little itty bitty Mission Fleet Dark Trooper. Isn't he cute? But I decided he's not enough to make a whole video about. So you know what? I went ahead and I bought a whole Black Series figure just to make another thing in the video. No, I'm just joking. I decided to get the Black Series Dark Trooper. I did. Uh, if you don't know me, I don't collect the Black Series. I am a vintage collection collector. However, I love the Dark Trooper, and my love of the Dark Trooper transcends my aversion to the Black Series. And I just decided I wanted a cool, posable 6-inch Dark Trooper. And that is what I got. And honestly, it's a pretty damn cool figure. I really like it. The Mission Fleet one's pretty cool, too. I did want to discuss the whole Dark Trooper fiasco, though, before I even start talking about these guys. Because when it comes to Dark Trooper action figures, uh, not talking about bobbleheads or, you know, Lego, whatever, action figures from Hasbro, it is a shame that the first one that I was able to get my hands on was a silly little Mission Fleet figure. What? Why was this available before the proper ones? Why? I, I'm dumbfounded. Uh, honestly, uh, the, the company, the figure, the action figure that I feel like beat Hasbro was Hot Toys. I got my Hot Toys Dark Trooper before I got this Black Series one. And yes, I do have the Hot Toys Dark Trooper, and I will make a video on it. But I want to not do that right now because I need to get cotton gloves because it is a fingerprint magnet. But despite that, I wanted to talk about these black, the Black Series and this little Mission Fleet one. I am getting the Vintage Collection. I'm actually getting like four of it because it's the Dark Trooper and I want four of it. That's just me. But I'm getting four. I'll make a whole video on the Vintage Collection one on its own. I might compare it with the Black Series a little bit in that video, but I feel like it's going to be fairly similar. However, let's just talk about the Mission Fleet one real quick. It's a little tiny boy. He's small. Uh, it has a pretty good likeness to the Dark Trooper. I like it. Uh, it does have this big silly jetpack, as Mission Fleet stuff does. Uh, you can move the missile pods up. You can, like, bend the wings, and they just fall out. So I feel like that is a huge uh, quality control issue, because I'm sure kids are going to be playing with this, and they're just going to flex that wing, and these are just going to fall out. Uh, honestly, this is probably just going to live in a drawer for the rest of its life. Not really interested. It's a silly little thing, and they wasted paint budget on the back of it. Bravo, Hasbro. Yeah, that's, let's just get rid of that. Uh, however, little Dark Trooper, pretty cool little guy. Uh, he's got swivels at the hips, uh, ball hinges at the arms, nothing at the waist, little ball joint at the head. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little Dark Trooper. He's got the red on the chest, red in the eyes. Uh, doesn't really have too much silver on the body. He's got a little bit on his arm. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, cute little Dark Trooper. I really like it. It does have a pretty cool feature. You can holster the gun on the hip. Uh, more than I can say for the Black Series one. <laughs> we'll get to that. But yeah, cute little Dark Trooper. I think it's pretty neat. I like him. Yeah, he's just a cute little Dark Trooper guy. I like him. All right, I've said that enough times. Black Series time. So, again, it's a deluxe. Uh, because reasons. Uh, basically, they threw in a couple extra things and decided to charge you about $10 more. That's uh, Hasbro business practices nowadays. Anyways, you can see it's got some cool art on the side of the Dark Trooper. It's pretty cool. You know, it's again, I'm going to say it in every Black Series review. I think the gray in the back is really boring and cheap looking. But the rest of the new style of box is pretty cool. Uh, I like the colors. I like, you know, it's got a little bio there. I think it's a cool box besides that dull gray. The box in retaliation just destroyed the figure. But that's just what happens. So... This figure is really, really cool. Uh, I really do like it. Uh, I did allude to one of my only issues with it. Uh, you can't holster the gun on the leg. Uh, you can do it with the you can do it with the TVC as far as pictures show. You can do it with the Hot Toys. You can do it with the Mission Fleet, uh, but not with the Black Series. There's no hole. There's no way to like plug the magazine or anything in. It's just that's just how it is. Uh, so what does he come with? Uh, what justifies his deluxe price? Well, not too much, but I guess some. Uh, I definitely feel like the vintage collection is a little more justified in being a deluxe. Uh, however, you do get some pretty appreciated interchangeable hands. 
We get some fists because, I mean, the Dark Troopers do a lot of punching. So I actually do think having fists are pretty valid interchangeable accessories. They're very small hands, though. I didn't realize how tiny Dark Trooper hands were. Now, granted, there's no pegs sticking off of them, but I still feel like they're kind of small hands. I don't know. Something about them. Uh, but me personally, I'm probably going to display them mostly with the rifle. Since I can't holster the gun, I don't really have a choice there. So, yeah, you do have a hand to cup the rifle, and you do have a hand to hold the rifle. I really do like the Dark Trooper rifle, too. I think it's pretty cool looking. You can see mine's a little bent. It's a little bent downward. That's special. It does, does have a little bit of silver paint on it, which I can appreciate. I do like the silver paint on this figure. It's actually pretty abundant. Uh, I don't think you really get any on the neck, but you get some in the arm. You get uh, plenty on the hinges. Some right there, some on the waist, some on the inside of the thigh, and then on the other hinges. So you actually get a lot of nice little silver, which I definitely think does add to the look. And I do think the glossy black is very uh, effective on this guy. It's very glossy, very cool looking. I don't feel like it's much of a fingerprint magnet too, which is nice. It's cast in this glossy black plastic. It's not painted uh, like the Hot Toys, so it's not as much of a fingerprint magnet. But you can see uh, it still does allow for some pretty nice shine and shimmer. Uh, the articulation on this guy is so fun. I mean, that's why I bought him, because I wanted a nice, big, poseable Dark Trooper. Because Dark Troopers are one of my favorite things in all of Star Wars. I've always loved Dark Troopers. And their appearance in The Mandalorian was nothing short of simply amazing to me. So, yeah, I want Dark Trooper merchandise. <laughs> you know, I got the friggin' Hot Toys for crying out loud. And like I said, I will be reviewing that here soon. But yeah, you can just see me posing it around. You may have noticed one thing. The torso floats. This is a floating component. Uh, I'm assuming it's like that to kind of get out of the way in certain poses. But again, I don't feel like it moving is very necessary because these are not only soft plastic, but also move fairly out of the way. Uh, but I guess they kind of like were like, you know, like, oh, if, you know, it's floating, that means you can get the arms all the way up because you have less to get in the way. And I mean, sure, I, I get that. But there is a part of me that feels the need to just glue this down and be done with it. I feel like I would enjoy it a lot more if that was just glued down because it floating. It's just it's getting everywhere, man. It's just I mean, it's not really in the way. It doesn't really look ugly once you get it in a pose, but just moving it. It's like you just have the whole torso just bobbing around. It's kind of irritating. As we're posing him, uh, let's get him in a different pose to show off another accessory he comes with. So you can see he does have some pretty cool posability to look like he's flying. That's because you get some little thrusties. And they're actually on nice little ball joints too. So not only do they plug in, and they do plug in kind of loosely. They're not really in there super secure. But once you get them plugged in, you actually have a little bit of motion because they're on ball joints. But again, like I said, they're not super secure. So if you knock into it, they're, they're, they're coming out. <laughs> they're not super secure in there. But they could be worse, and I do I do appreciate the inclusions for the extra accessories. I do. But is this worth a deluxe price? Let's just say, if you're going to charge a full retail price for something like a Jawa or an Ewok, why are you charging a deluxe price for this? Because before you started this whole deluxe BS, figures like this were not deluxe. You're not going to make Chewbacca or Vader a deluxe. I'm pretty sure Vader figures are bigger than this guy. I'm pretty sure. I mean, this figure is not that huge. It's not. Uh, the only Black Series I really have on hand right now is a Custom. You can see, standing it next to a Custom clone, it's not that much taller. It's not. This is like the old Black Series clone mold. It's not that much taller. It doesn't have that much more heft to it. Does it have more pieces in the assembly? Uh, perhaps it does, because going into the articulation here, it's actually pretty packed. So you can see it's got a dumbbell at the neck, as well as like a joint at the bottom and the top of the neck. So you get a lot of head articulation. Uh, the shoulders move independently, and you also have the torso joint, or the torso bobbing, I guess. Uh, you do have a butterfly joint at the arms, which is pretty not that useful. I kind of forget it's there, honestly. It's not really something I feel like contributes to the articulation much at all. However, uh, you do have 
universal joints of the shoulders. And this is where it gets kind of interesting because at the elbows, at the knees, and at the ankles, uh, you have a swivel hinge swivel system. So that is pretty cool. So you end up with about 90 degrees swivel hinge swivel. Uh, at the wrists too, I don't know if I mentioned the wrists, it's the same thing, swivel hinge swivel. So you get a lot of articulation out of that, and it does include a lot more pieces. Uh, it does have clear pegs to simulate the hollowness of the joints. The Hot Toys figure at that size was able to actually make them hollow. However, this one, they're clear pegs. Totally respect that. I'm curious what the Vintage Collection one will do. Uh, ball joint at the waist, which is pretty decent. The legs, they move forward, but with the armor, it kind of gets in the way. But if you shift that thigh armor over, you get about 90 degrees. And swivel hinge, swivel again at the knees, so you're able to kind of readjust the knee. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, and then again, uh, I was actually about to say swivel hinge, swivel, but it doesn't seem so on the leg. Wow, that's actually fused in. I could have swore that was a swivel hinge, swivel there, but no, it's just a, a hinge and an ankle rocker. Actually would have really appreciated a swivel there, but given how you do have a swivel above, it's not that necessary, I suppose. So you can get him in some pretty cool kneeling poses. I mean, you can you can get him in some pretty nice poses. He's very poseable. His joints are very fluid. They're very fun. I just feel like one of the only things that makes him feel kind of awkward is this floating torso piece. So, like I said, I do have a disappointment with you can't put the gun on the thigh. But other than that, it's a very solid figure. It's very nice. Unfortunately, it just falls victim to being an unnecessary deluxe. I don't feel like it's really worth that price. I, I, I mean, over $30 for something like this? Oh, I don't know, man. It's, <laughs> it's they're getting really expensive. Uh, Star Wars toys, almost all toys in general, are just getting so expensive now. And I just don't really know if I can justify prices as they are. I debated canceling this guy just because I'm like, do I? will I even really have the money for this? Thankfully, I, I'm irresponsible enough where I was just like, just go ahead and get it. <laughs> I probably didn't need this because I'm not a Black Series collector. But as someone who just enjoys cool, fun Star Wars toys, I really like this Black Series Dark Trooper. I think it's really cool. I'm sure he'll go up against your Black Series Mando really well. I mean, the, the helmet already looks really mushy and inaccurate, so having this Dark Trooper pounding it might pound it back into shape. We'll just see. Uh, that is a total diss at Black Series, by the way. The Vintage Collection helmet so much better. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these Dark Troopers. Look forward to my review of the Hot Toys one as well as the Vintage Collection one. Uh, the Hot Toys one is definitely my favorite out of these. Just imagine this Black Series one, but bigger with lights and some metal and just being very nice. That's the Hot Toys one. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty, guys. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons at Patreon, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Alrighty, guys. There we go. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.